Hi guys, my name is Mitchell Kennedy and welcome to Red Belly Media. If you missed my last cartoon intro, click here to check it out because this week I'm going to show you how to make your own cartoons using Adobe After Effects and Illustrator. When it comes to drawing your characters, it helps to work off reference photos. So I took this charming selfie with my head turned on the same angle I wanted for my character and imported that into Adobe Illustrator. When drawing the different shape layers for your character, keep in mind that every element of the face that you want to animate needs to be on a separate layer. So as I turn on each of these layers here, you can get an idea of how to approach your own character. If you forget to add a new layer, you can always select a new layer, right click on the object you want to place into that layer, and go to Arrange, Send to Current Layer. When you're happy with your character's design and you've separated each object into their separate groups, go ahead and save the project file. Next you'll need to design a specific set of mouths to match your character when they speak. I downloaded this set of mouths from Google Images and used them as a reference for drawing my own mouths for each sound. Once you've finished that, go ahead and save that project as well and you're ready to animate. When you've started a new After Effects project, you'll need to import the character and mouth project files. Make sure you change the import as feature from footage to composition retain layer sizes. Now that you've got a composition for both the character and the mouths, drag the character composition into the timeline and you're ready to start rigging for animation. Rigging consists of creating a hierarchy of nulls that the objects are then grouped to to move multiple layers at once. I created four nulls labelled the head, body, eyes and pupils. I selected all the layers contained within the head except for the eyes and pupils and pick whip parented them to the head null. These included the mouth, hair, right and left eyebrows, beard, head, upper and lower eyelids, and the eye whites. Next, the left and right pupils should be parented to the pupil null, and the same goes for the eyes and body nulls. Then repeat the same process for the nulls themselves. Now if you check the parent column in your timeline, every layer except for the body null should have a parent. To check that you have rigged everything properly, change the rotation of each null and make sure that everything moves properly. Adjust the anchor points to where you want each null to move from. So for the head, move the anchor point to where the head would meet the neck on the body. Now you can animate each layer's position and rotation keyframes to change the expressions on your character's face. That's it for this episode guys, stay tuned for part 2 where we'll cover animating the mouths for speech. Also keep an eye out for Red Belly Media's new short film coming soon. This one will be based on the video game Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, still in the early stages of production, but here's a recent visual effects test I did. It's only a few seconds, but enjoy. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.